flower friends, Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. I am growing flowers to sell, also known as flower farming, in zone 4B, upstate New York. And I have so many flowers right now. Ah! So I have um, these flowers. I don't know how much you can see behind me, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight more buckets of flowers behind me and I have my CSA customers coming tomorrow for pickups. I also have some deliveries and I'm also having a pop-up porch sale because I had a ton of lilies come in at the same time. It wasn't supposed to happen that way. If you watched my previous video, you know that I succession planted my lilies, but because of the weather, um, they're just all popping out. We've had just an unbelievably hot and dry summer. We don't normally get into the 90 degrees. I think we average three to four days of 90 plus degree a year. And I think we've had like six or seven just in the past couple of weeks. And the next three days are much of the same. I think our highs are like 86, 88. <sighs> so we've had to improvise here. I've already sold two buckets of lilies in the closed form to florists and now I have to make 40 bouquets tonight so I thought I'd make a couple of them on here I am I'm learning how to do this I am NOT a professional florist I am just learning how to arrange flowers and I have my own style and um, well let me show you a couple that I already put together where can I put these lilies <laughs> They're very, very fragile. Lilies are so fragile. Oh, I'm just gonna put them right on the ground. Okay, so I made these arrangements earlier. There's three of them in here. And let's see, so it's pretty simple. Some honeywort lilies, some frosted explosion grass, uh, some, oh, that's just, I love that. Snapdragons, um, some gomfrina in there, and then the same, this is another white lily one. This has got honeywort lilies, some lemon mint, and snapdragons, and some Queen Anne's lace. Anyway, these are just like market bouquets. They're nothing huge, they're nothing super fancy. People love them and they're gorgeous. I mean, they're gorgeous. Okay, so this is what I do with the lilies. Okay, you'll see. Let me get up close, make sure it's zooming in properly. Okay, that's an example of a lily that I took the pollen off of already. This one still has the pollen. Yeah, it's pretty. I like it, the contrast, the frosted explosion grass tickling my face, but that brown is gonna drop and dirty up your lily like nobody's business. So what I like to do, and I will tell my customers as well, when they start to open, am I on camera? Okay, yeah. I just boop, take these little, it's super dark in my basement, I have a light set up. Take these out right there. And now I know that it removes the contrast but these things make a hot mess in the arrangements. So another thing about lilies, every single part of them is uh, toxic to cats. That's why I'm in my basement. I have a cat upstairs. I am not bringing lilies inside. So this goes in the garbage. Okay, so I have a garbage pile down there. It's 9.50 at night. I just finished harvesting. I harvested another bucket and a half of lilies, some sunflowers again. Oh, guys, move on over. These are taking my heart. Will you look at this just, oh, it's so flirty and beautiful and the plums and the whites and the regular sunnies. My red ones have not started opening up yet. I, I use those for like later in the season for the more autumn. Oh, so I don't have enough sunflowers to give someone a sunflower bouquet yet. These are, I think I have like 25 or 30 sunflowers. So I'm just gonna stick like one in each bouquet. So it's gonna be a lily sunflower mix bouquet. And then in a couple of weeks when 
the sunflowers really start to open up, I'll be able to offer um, full sunflower bouquets. Anyway, like I was saying, it is 9.30 at night, almost 9.30. I just made a pot of coffee and I'm gonna get as much done as possible because my pop-up porch sale starts at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And I do get up at like 5, 5.30 on days like this um, to get everything ready, but I wanna get ahead of it because 40 bouquets is more than I've ever made before. I think the most that I've ever had to make in a day for sale was 22. So I'm almost doubling my max production and it's just me. So let's do this. I'm gonna start with this absolutely gorgeous one and look what's happening, okay? That lily head is dead. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna chop it right off. Nobody needs to see that. So that's dead. This one's on its way out, but I'm gonna let it be. If it looks bad tomorrow morning, I'll just chop that one right off too. Uh, and it's okay, because I'm not just putting one lily stem in these. Let me grab a second. Okay, so now I have two lily stems and they have so many buds that will open up over time. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab, I usually put a couple of snapdragons in for some height. I'm really loving the contrast with these dark ones. Oh wow, yes, I love it. And what do you think? Should we pull in some yellow? Oh, I think, um, so if you didn't see my last video, I have two buckets. This is one, and then a second bucket is back there with some um, gumfrina and some azuratum. Um, and those are buckets that I bought from a fellow flower farmer. My friend Gina grows about an hour away from me and I, we were talking and I said I have more lilies than I have filler and other stuff to go. I said I will buy some flowers off you. And, and she has a ton of flowers and doesn't really have a market right now. She's just starting too. So um, I bought some from her. So these are, look at Gina's love in the mist. Love in the mist. Look at these. Is it gonna focus? They're so whimsical and gorgeous. So she's got these rubber banded at the bottom. I went and picked them up this morning. I'm going to undo these. I'm just gonna clip it with my clippers because I don't have time to sit here and play with a rubber band. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, so these are like one thing. So I'm gonna snip that and I'm gonna snip another one off that is gorgeous this one I'm gonna use in a smaller bouquet uh, and then I think I'm gonna put some Orlea in I think she's got this tied at the bottom too Wowie. Her stems are so long. I'm so impressed with your flowers, Gina. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that's something right there. I'm gonna snip this one off. It's a little bendy at the bottom. So that's coming together really, really nice. I like the way that that is. And I'm just gonna throw some stuff in here. Let's see. The camera shut off on me for a second. So I am going to pull in some frosted explosion grass, just a couple of strands of it. And this could get dirty if you look at the leaves. So I always try to take off the leaves that have any bug damage or starting to get discolored because they can do that out in the field next thing you know. And on the top one, I don't wanna take the whole thing off, but I am going to just slice it because you need a little bit at the bottom here. Otherwise, um, the grass starts to fall off. So I'm gonna put that one there, and I think maybe just one over on this side. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that top piece of grass doesn't look bad. I'm gonna just snip the bottom ones off, and that's just Now, in a perfect world, all of this stuff would be prepped for you. 
well not prep for you, but you would prep all this stuff before you sat down to make bouquets. So now I am going to cut it and this is a bouquet. I love it. And I am going to get cranking on all these. Oh, you know what? I didn't add a sunflower into this one. Should I do yellow or white? I'm feeling like I should do white. Let me put this Orlea back in. Wait, guys, I feel like I should do Solosia. Look at this Solosia that Gina got me. Oh my gosh. Yes, I think I have to. You know what, I'm gonna do this one without a sunflower. I'm gonna, there's gonna be plenty with sunflowers. I'm going to just put in some of this. And uh, call it a day. This stuff is amazing. Kind of like I kind of like the piece that's a little wonky. And I think it's too wonky for for this. So look at that. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. That's special. That that It's done. It's done. It doesn't need anything else. The lighting in here's shot, sorry. Come on now, come on. I love it. In the bucket. The lighting down here is miserable. I can't wait until like in the morning when I get some nice, some nice outdoor shots. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a peachy one. This, I don't know if you can really see this, but this is like a beautiful peach color. Let's do one of those. I've made one bouquet so far and I needed to take a break. I'm just kidding. I needed I needed coffee and the coffee was done, so. It's a disaster down here and it's not gonna get better, so. Just gonna keep working. Ooh. This peach color, I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but I'll post pictures. Anyway, it's something else to tell you right now. Okay, snappy snapdragons. I think I'll go with the bronze snapdragons for this one. Oh wow, maybe not, maybe not. I think I'm gonna leave the bronze ones for something else. Oh wow, the white snaps look um, pretty amazing with this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the white snapdragons for sure. I think I'm going to go with See if I put a white sunflower in with this, how cute it looks. Oh, <clears throat> they're so tight in there. <gasps> yeah, yes. This one's not even gonna need much because it's just. Um... Sorry about the lighting down here. I have my YouTube light on, it's just. Not the best. You know what, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some uh, stuff over here that Gina brought me. She brought me some Euphorbia. And Euphorbia does have some sap in the bottom that you're gonna wanna warn your customers about. Um, it, people can have a reaction to it. I myself have been having reactions to um, some stuff. So I'm actually gonna cut this in half. Use a piece on this side, take off the bottom leaves, use a piece on this side, and wow, that's, that's done, that's perfect. You know, I this is just my style. This is how I like it. Let me get a better shot for you guys. Yeah, the lighting down here is horrible. And then these will open up in the back. I like it. I might put uh, something else in the back. Oh, the frosted explosion grass. I forgot about that. Put a little bit of that in here. Oh yeah, okay. All right. Gotta 
take a look at the at the grass and make sure it's clean. There. <laughs> not perfect, not meant to be perfect. I love it. I debated whether to do this as a video, guys, because like I told you in yesterday's video, it takes me a while to do this because I'm not a florist. I'm not a professional bouquet maker. I have friends who are. Should have called you, Tracy. <laughs> okay. I took a quick break. When I mean break, I mean I just shut the camera off because if I recorded myself making 40 bouquets this hour, it would be like a five hour movie. So, I've made 10 and I'm getting, like I feel good now. I feel confident. I'm loving the way they turned out. I'll show you some of them. I mean, oh my gosh. Let me grab the camera and move it. Again, the lighting down here is hideous, but for instance, I'm just feeling better about them. There are six in here that Lily's gonna crash and burn. I know it is, and that's okay. That's why there are 17 Lilies in each thing. 17's my number, guys. Just let me go with it. I am probably gonna go upstairs and get more stuff out of the fridge and get going on these babies. Should I use the Gladiola, guys? This is my first Gladiola. It's a five foot yellow sword. I'm wondering if I should use it today. Ooh, I'm using these right here. All right. So if you guys really want to see like a professional make a bouquet, Florette, Erin from Florette just released a three part series on, um, well, she emails you the videos and her process a perfection. She's just done it so long and so well that she knows just what to do. So, if you want to see a quick bouquet, I'll go check out her video. How about how about that? How about that? Holy guacamole! So I'm giving this person three stems, um, and then some of this matching gonfrina from from Gina because it's awesome and then maybe a couple yup yup <clears throat> just kind of going for it guys that's what I'm doing I think we need oh look it was like it was begging for me Couple of yellow snapdragons in here. I'll put it on this side in the back end. Man, I am not looking forward to driving these to Rome tomorrow because um, I don't like, I, I'm obsessed with this Orlea, man. Oh good, there's two. There's two stems. Oh, and she's got, she gave me some, you know what, that's pretty. Don't want to use up the Aurelia. So there are some Sweet William, some Dianthus in here. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to put, oh, you know what? I'm going to throw a red one in there in the back too. This is like a really tropical one. Gotta get that explosion red. Oh, wow. That one's just like quadruple exploded. It's got some not so pretty leaves on it. And also, you guys know, maybe you don't if you're brand new, anything in the water can't have leaves. No leaves in the water. Makes it really dirty. Uh, it just doesn't, doesn't look good. And then, cutting all this off at the bottom. Blue. And rubber band in it. So, there's another a bouquet. Oh, I got my Rubicchia is lost in there. I'm going to move it to the other side. Oh look, I moved them both. Rubekia, you're so rude. Now they're not even anymore, guys. Now they're not even. That's okay. 
Hi guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's after midnight and my camera zoomed in too far. <laughs> it's after midnight and I am I made 29 bouquets. I don't know why I stopped at 29, but I stopped at 29. And let me zoom out. <laughs> Okay, so it's it's 12, 15, and of course, yeah, so it's Friday, it's the day off. I gotta get up in five hours to prepare the porch, but at least I won't have to make any bouquets because I can make them um, ahead of time. So, or not ahead of time, during the porch sale because I have to take some to Rome, which I already have the ones for my CSA customers. I've set aside because they have some extra sunflowers and stuff in because those are my prime customers. So those are set aside. So those are not going out to the porch sale, but everything else is. And I definitely, uh, oh, I found a new variety of lily. It's so, oh, I love them so much. I gotta get a hold of awnings, which is where I got all of these lilies from. And I, I bought a mix, but Hank is my rep there. And I wanna know what each variety is. I have people asking me because they wanna grow them in their yards and I encourage that 100%. So I need to find out all the variety names. I'm gonna email him in the morning. I, I don't know if I'm having a reaction to something or if I'm just so tired, but I'm like, hey, I'm yawning, yawning so much. Anyway, this was fun. The first 10 minutes was very stressful for me and I was like sweating a little bit and then I just got into the groove of it and all these things from um, that Gina gave me fit in perfectly. I'm just adding a couple to each bouquet. Like for instance, Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. So I love this yellow, red, and white. And so I have a sprig of Gina's yellow feverfew, and then a couple of her gumfrinas. And then it, I added in my sunflower, and I have my white lilies, and then I have my snapdragons, and then I have my uh, frosted explosion grass. And everything is just like moving in together. And I love that we're teaming up to do this. And um, you know, I don't, I would have had enough to do maybe 15 bouquets with, you know, loading it up with snapdragons and, and grass. And I do have fever few. It's just not as tall as Gina's. What's she doing over there? What's she doing up on that hill? So I'm really excited about this. And, um, you know, if you have a, like, if there's someone near you, there's no reason for you to be like, well, I mean, maybe there is a reason, but if there isn't a reason for you to be um, like angry at your competitors, make them your allies. You guys can work together. Gina and I, we talked about it and I'm gonna be hosting like a bouquet bar on my porch for probably 10 people, maybe later next month. And I told Gina, I was like, bring a couple buckets and, and I'll pay you for them. There's no reason why you shouldn't be working together with the people who are also flower farming next to you. So if there's a reason, there's a reason though. If, they, if they've if they shaded you, no, you're done. But if they haven't, there's no reason for it. So, all right, I'm gonna come back in the morning with the, everything set up on the porch and I'm gonna show you guys, hopefully some, some customers on the porch. So I've had a bunch of people ask for the address and then I've also had people say that they're gonna swing by. So hopefully I have a few sales this morning. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these flowers. <laughs> so it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I have had about 10 customers so far and it turns out I'm allergic to lilies. I can't even breathe. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Last night I thought I was just tired I might have mentioned it. Am I, I, I'm have to when I'm editing it. I'll um, see if I mentioned it. I don't know if I'm having a, a reaction to something or if I'm just so tired. But I'm like, but I was saying how I didn't, couldn't breathe and I was struggling. Yeah, I'm allergic to lilies. But um, I keep standing away from the table. It's only when there's. I mean, I have like a hundred lilies here. And they're all in my face, and I keep pulling the pollen pods off, and I feel like someone's sitting on my chest. Um, but that's okay, and I keep warning people, cats, 
toxic, keep them away, pollen, all that stuff. So uh, just as a reminder to people, you should always do that. If you have something in your bouquet that is toxic to either people or to animals, just mention, just remember that some flowers are, are poisonous and keep it away from pets and don't eat anything you don't know what it is because sometimes people do that. So anyway, all right, so I have had 10 customers in the first about hour and a half, two hours, and um, things are going great. They keep their compliment the flowers. They can't believe how beautiful they are. And um, especially Gina's Rebecca. Everyone loves that Rebecca. So, oh, somebody's coming up the driveway, so I'm gonna set the camera up. Okay, so I just loaded the car. I am headed to uh, a nearby city to make deliveries. I have 15 deliveries in that city. I sold 12 bouquets from the porch this morning, which means that I made 29, I only needed 27. It's perfect. The lilies keep popping too. So I'm gonna have another porch sale tomorrow morning. We'll see how it goes. So I'm headed to Rome. I'm making my, my daughter making my daughter come with me because I am terrified of things in the car. I, I swear it's like I have a newborn baby in the car. I'm like, slow down, I gotta go really slow around this corner. Oh god, a pedal. So I brought an extra handful of lilies and I have my pockets with rubber bands in case I need to add. And I also am wearing my handy dandy Dickies bag, which by the way is the perfect texture if you get a bug bite to itch yourself on it. Perfect texture. Write that in your review, Dickies. Yeah. Okay, so I'm at one of my CSA members. My daughter is in the back seat. Can you see her? Oh, there she is. Hi, she's holding a couple of my. So we have a full vehicle here. I have. Uh, she's holding some, there's some in the seat next to her, and there's some in the way back. I have 14 deliveries here. Ooh, it's bright out. So this is my CSA member Lori's house, and she has a base out front for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop off her bouquet. Okay, Lori, oh, yep, she said she liked the tropical colors, so I, I made this one for her. Let me make sure, because there's also one. Yes, this is the one that she wanted. Oh, gosh. So bright out. Go back to the hostas, and there's the vase she said out for me. And there it is. Gorgeous. Okay, so now I have um, 13 other deliveries to go. So I'm gonna shut the camera off. Pay attention to my map quest. Does that date me a little bit? My Google Maps and. Uh, Try to get this done as quickly and as carefully as possible. Okay, fast forward two and a half hours later and I am back home. And it was a very long three hours. And um, just so you guys know, I, I'm driving half an hour to get to my first delivery and then I have deliveries all over. And it's like a 15 mile radius where I delivered and then came back. And that's not something I normally am gonna be offering. I um, I do have a, like a pickup location in Rome, but because of COVID and stuff, the um, and she moved locations and it's just not available right now. So next year, it'll be one location where I'm driving to this store. She said I could set up a table inside of her store and that is where uh, people are gonna be picking up my stuff. So we haven't worked out the kinks with that. If she's going to get a free bouquet out of it or um, if she, I, and we did talk about, like she said she would sell any extra bouquets that I have too, but we didn't talk about how that would work at all yet. So I'll worry about that next year. Right now, I'm okay with, with taking a couple of hours out of my week to sell, I mean 14 bouquets, two were CSA members in Rome, the other 12 were just purchases that were today, so that's amazing. I mean, so over the past, so, oh, sorry, guys, my son's watching Transformers. Axel! Axel! Turn it down! Thank you, Bumblebee's shooting someone, I don't even know. Okay, so um, I sold, so I made 29 bouquets. I ended up making 29 bouquets and I sold 25. So I sold all but four bouquets and um, four of those were my CSA members and 21 were, um, were not. So those were just people who sat by the porch or had them delivered in Rome. Tomorrow I'm doing another pop-up porch sale because guess what guys, the lilies just keep popping. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I got about three hours of sleep. I was up till 2.30 and uh, got up at 6 to, still after 6 to, 
tired. So I'm gonna um, probably get up early and make those bouquets in the morning. I have four reserved and I think I have enough for 12 to 15 more bouquets. So I'm gonna get some rest and get up and do it all over again. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope this was at least interesting. So I'll see you guys soon, bye.